Hello there. So this is my website. And if I scroll down, it gives this cool dynamic effect. This style is called the parallax effect. And I'll show you the easiest way to do this in just a few minutes. The first step is to create a folder where all our logos are there in either JPEG or PNG format. On the Elementor canvas, make sure the content width is set to full width and the width and height are maxed out to 100% of the viewport. I'll also adjust the gap and padding to zero. For the background, I'll go to the style tab and pick this image. Let's set the position to center and the display size to cover. I want the background to stay in place, so I'll keep the attachment option fixed and keep it no repeat. Now the fun part, the scrolling effects. I want the background to fade out a bit when I scroll. So I'll turn this on and add some blur. I'll also set it to fade out. Let's quickly adjust the level and viewport range from here. Awesome, our base is ready. Now I'll drop in an image widget like this and keep the resolution at full. Then I'll head to the advanced section and set the position to absolute. This setting will set the image to full size and cover the entire screen. Next, I'll duplicate the image widget four times for the different layers. To keep things organized, I'll turn on the navigator from the bottom left here. Now, I'll select the first image widget and insert the mountains layer like this. In the advanced tab, let's change the Z index to one. This is a CSS property that determines the stacking order of elements. Any element with a higher Z index would be on the front and the elements with lower Z index value would be in the back. Okay, for the scrolling effect, I'll choose horizontal scroll and set the speed to this. You can tweak the speed to your liking, but this looks good to me. To make the image sticky, I'll select bottom and choose slide up for the entrance animation. Finally, I'll rename the image to background mountains. Moving on to the next widget, I'll insert another mountain image, which should be a darker shade than the previous one for the layering effect in the background. In the advanced section, let's increase the Z index to three to bring the image to the front. Then I'll go to the motion effects and select horizontal scroll to the right with a speed of somewhere around this. I'll also add a blur effect by choosing fade in and set the viewport to 50. For the level, I'll stick to four. For the sticky settings, I'll choose bottom for this image and rename it accordingly. Then I'll upload the third mountain image for the mountain layer. After that, I'll go to the advanced section and add the Z index like this. You can see how the mountains layers stack up. Next, I'll add an entrance animation to this layer. So choose slide it up. For sticky, let's go with top. I'll also set the sticky option for the second and the first containers to top. Let's increase the speed and change the blur effect to fade out. I want the effect to be on the whole page. So choose the entire page like this. To adjust the image for the screen, I'll reduce the viewport's horizontal scroll and then decrease the speed to 0.2. Now let's quickly go back to the second container and navigate to the motion effects. I'll select entire page just like I did for the last container. The blur effect isn't blending well with the background. So I'll decrease it and adjust the viewport to top. Moving on to the next container, I'll set the Z index value to this. Then I'll enable scrolling effects in the motion effects and set it to work on the entire page like the previous containers. Let's also set some horizontal scroll for this one and adjust the viewport and speed to match the other two mountain layers. I'll then choose a sticky option and see how it looks with top. Finally, let's rename this container as foreground mountains. Let's proceed to the next container and insert the image. I'll use a picture of a moon for this one and set the image resolution to medium. I'll head to the advanced section to make it look like the moon is rising behind the mountains. I'll start by increasing the horizontal orientation offset to the maximum and setting the vertical orientation offset to 110. Then let's set the entrance animation from the motion effects menu. After that, I'll enable scrolling effects and adjust the viewport and speed for both vertical and horizontal scroll. Let's also add some left margin to the moon from the layout section. Moving on to the last container, 
I'll use this forest image as the final layer of the foreground. I'll then add a Z index value of 5. For the entrance animation, I'll choose slide it up from the menu. And for sticky, I want the image to stick at the top, so I'll select top. Next, I'll enable the scrolling effects and make it a vertical scroll. I'll choose entire page again. Then I'll add some blur like this so that it appears sharp when we scroll. Okay, the last thing we need is heading. I'll drag the text widget and change the text from here. Then I'll set it as an H2 in the HTML section and from the style tab, I'll align it to the center. After that, let's change the font and make some minor adjustments. Choose this color for text and then set the position to fixed. To center the text, I'll adjust the horizontal offset and select bottom from the vertical orientation. Next, I'll move the Z index and set it to 5. Then I'll go to motion effects and choose top for the sticky settings. Finally, let's turn on the scrolling effect and increase the scale speed. I'll also adjust the speed of the vertical scroll, the viewport range and the scale speed. Now let's see how it looks. So I'll open up my website, scroll down a bit and it looks good to me. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.